another age, another time. A famous picture, Donald Campbell at the wheel of Bluebird on a dry lake bed in Australia. The track dries, the wind drops, the bed can be made. Fifty years ago, the technicians all wore white lab coats, even working in a desert. This film is a portrait of a different era. It was designed to do 450 miles an hour, and, and the record now for a wheel-driven car is 458 miles an hour, so you can see how advanced the car was. July the 17th, 1964. The car reaches 403 miles an hour. All tyres and wheels must be changed. Engine checked. Gearbox to take the record, two runs must be made in opposite directions within an hour. The car goes again. Accelerating again. 360, 370, both braking, 380, both braking severe. Still accelerating, 390, clear, can't hold up, parachute now. The surface is rough. The tyres are in ribbons. Success. A new world record. 403.1 miles per hour. Today the car has pride of place in the National Motor Museum at Bewley. Don Wales was six when his uncle died, but now holds land speed records himself in electric and steam cars. I can remember standing next to the, the huge wheels, uh, and they were taller than me, and I just looked up in awe at, at these fabulous wheels, not quite understanding what it was all about. Uh, and he lifted me up and, and put me in the cockpit. Official timekeepers take up their positions. Donald Campbell wanted to be the only person to take speed records on land and water in the same year. His craft, also called Bluebird, looked more like a plane than a boat. A quick instrument check. JPT. Time was running out. The final attempt was late afternoon on New Year's Eve on a lake in Australia. Still accelerating 270, 275, 280. And I was clear with five seconds of fuel left. The chief timekeeper radios the news. It's a new world's water speed record of 276 miles per hour. The newly restored film how Long a Mile was directed by Donald himself. The credits, handwritten. It's about time that people fully recognise that Donald Campbell should be uh, remembered for that fabulous achievement and not just for the crash that, that ended his life. He was supporting Britain uh, and trying to uh, achieve fabulous things way ahead of his time. Paul Clifton, BBC South Today, Bewley.